Hi everybody, uh, welcome to our next video and uh, today we are going to discuss again LT optimization and today we are going to discuss uh, the uplink part of it and uh, we will discuss how we can optimize uh, different reference signals to improve the performance uh, in the uplink. So when it comes to uplink, there are basically two reference signals and they are namely DMRS and SRS. So one is DMRS and the other is SRS. <coughs> now your DMRS stands for your demor demodulation reference signal and your SRS stands for your sounding reference signal. So be uh, uh, be mindful that both of them are in the uplink direction. So basically both of these uh, modulation sim, uh, reference signals are being sent by the UI, your mobile, to the base station. So uh, we will see that both of these uh, reference signals have different uh, functionalities. Uh, the DMR, DMRS, the demodulation reference signal, is basically uh, used for uh, demodulating uh, your um, data or your control signaling being received by the E node B. So basically uh, what it happens is that it has a known, uh, you can say, uh, known symbol inserted into it and your UE basically, uh, your E node B basically tries to demodulate <coughs> your uh, uh, data based on uh, what kind of channel impact it sees on your DMRS. So this channel is primarily used for the demodulation. Your SRS, your sounding reference signal is uh, sent by the UE and that is basically used for channel estimation. So an SRS is your CSI basically the channel estimation and the channel state information that your E node B uh, estimates from this uh, SRS is then used for scheduling purposes in terms of frequency allocation and uh, frequency uh, which which frequency of the resource block that needs to be allocated to basically take full advantage of uh, the adaptive scheduling in LTE. So if your SRS performance is good, then your uh, scheduling decisions will be better and you can achieve better throughput. Also DMRS, if your DMRS performance uh, or demodulation is better, then your retransmissions will be less and therefore your average cell throughput will be better. Now in terms of uh, dimensioning, uh, DMRS, DMRS basically uh, is sent every uh, in every slot for your uh, physical uplink share channel and the same stands for your physical uplink control channel. In physical uplink share channel it occupies around 14% of the resources and in your uh, physical uplink control channel it occupies around 14 to 43% of resources. The difference uh, in number of allocations for DMRS in uplink control channel is because your uplink control channel information is very important and therefore a larger overhead is provided to DMRS in the control channel. Now what actually is in this DMRS is basically a ZC sequence and uh, there are different strategies how to plan that ZC sequence. First of all there is a cyclic prefix. And then there is something called hopping or you can say group hopping. In the cyclic prefix uh, what we do is that we assign a ZC sequence to one E node B and then we cyclically shift it for different cells of the same E node B. And for group hopping what we do is we basically use uh, the SSS, the secondary synchronization signal and we use that to generate 30 uh, ZC sequences and then we basically hop uh, on those sequences in different uh, iterations. 
This hopping is very similar to the frequency hopping used and that is to randomize the use of DMRS and therefore reduce the intercell interference. In larger networks, usually this uh, group uh, hopping is enabled and if you see the RRC signaling uh, in terms of system information and other reconfiguration messages, you will see uh, the group hopping being enabled. So that is one thing very important uh, for the DMRS. Same goes for SRS. This hopping is used in SRS as well. And uh, to improve uh, the SRS performance, uh, group hopping is used, cyclic shift is used in a similar way as we used in DMRS. So these are the two uh, reference signals that are used in the uplink. And uh, seeing their performance, improving their performance and trying to uh, basically reduce intercell interference can or improve uh, the throughput in the uplink. We will continue with uh, certain more lectures on uplink optimization and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.